um, I want to clarify a little bit here. Um, um, I said something a little bit uh, off topic in the, the biblical and Islamic uh, comparisons. Um, just to make it more clear and update on it. Um, I think the reference I made with the Islamic one was a little bit uh, off-putting um, with the whole uh, berserk uh, reference that was in my head back then. I thought it made sense, but uh, yeah, it was just uh, kind of um, it didn't really add anything. I thought back then it made sense, and I, and I'm also kind of become a fan of the series, or I want to read it sometimes. So the berserk manga looks kind of cool. So I just wanted to update on that one and just mention it a little bit. Um, to clarify, though, um, I st I'm still um, uh, stand by the uh, the comparison of um, how the biblical and Islamic scriptures work like. Um, so when you read the, the biblical one, it feels like uh, it wants the reader, the, the one who reads the text, to feel like a a malevolent uh, dictator and that's uh, what it feels like and when you read when you read islamic texts it feels like um the way that the author wants the reader uh, to feel like is kind of um dominance and a little bit of sadomasochism uh the reason for dominance is because if you read islamic texts um there is a lot of um, trying to uh, backfire any kind of criticism you may have with um, stuff like uh, if you think like this, then you are like this, or they are like this, or they think like this. Uh, so the idea is to dominate the reader and also, when you're a follower, also dominate uh, any counter argument in a sense. So that's uh, what I meant. I think that uh, the previous video uh, wasn't uh, the best way I could put it, really. And um, and some stuff I said there sounded good in my head back then, but it uh, in um, in in context to the past, I don't think it did it justice. But but there was m most of it was uh, something I stand by, though. But I just wanted to update on it a little bit. Um, and uh, it overall is interesting when you understand the whole psycholo psychology of how these texts are are made in a sense, or how they want to how they want to convey it to the reader. Uh, because I think um, maybe some misunderstanding is that I say that the text itself is like this. What I really mean is it's more what they want the reader to feel like. So just to get that clarification out of the way. So basically, um, just to su sum it up, um, when it comes to the Bible, it feels like they want the reader to feel like a malevolent dictator. And when it comes to Islamic text, it feels like they want the reader to, the reader to feel like a, like dominance, whether being dominated or dominating. Um, in the way that the text um, is conveyed to the reader. Uh, the sadomasochism is more um, like, let's say you are a, a painter, you like painting people, you like painting cool stuff. But there is some stuff that says that um, image making gets you to hell and stuff. And I don't know if, if they take it literally, like maybe some think it's context to idol worship, but that's what I mean in a sense. Um, I think I'm mostly weighing on the dominance part of, of the the way it was conveyed to the reader. So, so just to clarify that a little bit. Um, so yeah, I, I hope this video helps um, get the mindset of uh, of the culture around it. So I found it very interesting. Uh, thank you for listening, and bye.